Welcome to the WTT Whole House Fan Wall Control Installation video. Before we get started, make sure that power is turned off to the fan. Step 1 is wiring the FC3J fan control to the junction box on the Whole House Fan. This can be done in your shop prior to installing the fan in the attic, saving time in the field. Also, some fan manufacturers supply their fan with an FC3J already installed, making installation even quicker. If your fan has an FC3J installed, you can jump to step two. The FC3J has five wires. Red is the low speed wire, yellow is the medium speed wire, purple is the high speed wire, black is the 120 VAC power wire, and white is the neutral wire. I'm wiring the FC3J to a two speed fan, so I've already capped the yellow medium speed wire. First, Wire the red low speed wire to the fan motor low speed wire. Next, wire the purple high speed wire to the fan motor high speed wire. The black 120 VAC power wire is wired to the power 120 VAC wire. And finally, the white neutral wire is wired to the fan motor neutral wire and the power 120 VAC neutral wire. Make sure unused wires have been capped or cut at the PC board. Install the FC3J into the junction box, making sure that it's securely attached. Step two is connecting the plug and play cable to the FC3J on the fan. Insert one end of the cable into the FC3J, making sure the connector clicks. Only use the cable that's supplied. Step three is installing the plastic retrofit gain box. Do not install the WTT in a metal gain box as this could interfere with the optional wireless or Wi-Fi controls that can be added to the WTT. Select a location that will best sense the temperature, making sure to avoid areas that may influence the temperature, such as an outside wall or direct sunlight. After the hole is cut in the wall, feed the other end of the cable from the fan to the hole and pass through the opening in the back of the gain box. Insert the gain box into the wall opening and secure. Step four is connecting the plug and play cable to the WTT wall control. Insert the cable into the red connector on the back of the WTT, making sure the connector clicks. Step five is attaching the WTT and the wall plate. First, attach the WTT to the plastic gain box, then attach the wall plate to the WTT. Step six is setting the type of fan. Apply power to the whole house fan. The WTT defaults to a two-speed fan. Three-speed and one-speed fans will need to change the type of fan. Press and hold mode key for about seven seconds until S timer is displayed. Press mode again to display the number of speeds. Press the up key to select a three-speed fan or press the down key to select a one-speed fan. Step seven is checking the installation. Right now the WTT is in temperature control. We'll change to timer control to check the installation by pressing the mode key and pressing the up key. Let's check the fan operation. Make sure windows are open. Press the on off key to turn the fan on. Confirm that the fan is running. Now let's check fan speeds. Verify the fan is running in high speed. Lower the speed by pressing the speed key, then the down key. Verify the fan is now running in low speed. Return to high speed by pressing the speed key and then the up key. For a three speed fan, verify the fan runs in high, medium, and low speed. If everything checks out, press the on off key to turn the fan off. Return to temperature control by pressing the mode key, then pressing the down key. That's it. The whole house fan and WTT wall control installation are complete and ready for homeowner operation. If you have any questions about the WTT installation or operation, please contact us. You can also take a look at the WTT installation troubleshooting video available online.